Hello, welcome to the second video on the overview of the foods and food properties. In this video, I'm going to explain a few selected food properties from the subclass of the physicochemical properties. For example, mechanical properties, thermal properties, thermodynamic properties, mass transfer properties, and electromagnetic properties. In addition, I'm going to explain the kinetic and health properties of foods. I am sure you will find this video interesting. Physicochemical properties are mechanical properties, thermal properties, thermodynamic properties, mass transfer properties, electromagnetic properties, and physicochemical constant. First, we are going to start from the mechanical properties. Mechanical properties are the food's structural behavior when physical force is applied and structure is the manner or form of building that is arrangement of the parts or elements of a material or system. Material or system could be natural or constructed. In addition to natural structure, man-made structured food use assembly or structuring processes to build the product's microstructure. Examples of essential tools to create microstructure are crystallization, phase inversion, phase transition, and glass transition. At or below glass transition, materials have low molecular mobility and low chemical reaction rate. That is, at glass transition, foods are inert and brittle. Other are emulsification, for example, margarine, ice cream, sauces, and mayonnaise. Freeze alignment, foaming, for example, whipped cream, extrusion, puffing, drying, kneading of dough, and baking. In these products, a complicated multiphase microstructure is held together by binding forces between various phases. Microstructure leads to the acceptance of desired texture and mouthfeel during mastication which is the key to the acceptance of final product's quality and it is appreciated by the consumer. We could discuss this aspect by considering the example of sandiness and creaminess of ice cream. Ice cream could have a sandy mouthfeel if the size of the ice crystals are large or the presence of sugar crystals. The ice crystal size could be controlled during ice cream making, that is temperature, mixing, and ingredients, and also by controlling appropriate storage conditions. Storage temperature and fluctuations of the storage temperature significantly affect the recrystallization, which increases the size and shape of the crystals. Similarly, creaminess or smoothness of ice cream also depends on the size, shape, and morphology of the fat bubbles in the ice cream emulsion as well as the air bubbles characteristics. In the processing as well as storage stage, we need to control their structure at its desired level. The control of the man-made microstructure of foods is the key quality determining factor apart from the requirements of microbial stability and safety. In addition, microbial growth and stability also depend on the structure of a food, since this can provide the physical locations for growth, nutrients distribution, and transport of nutrients. In this slide, we could visualize the structure of crystallized dead syrup by naturally crystallizing and syrup crystallized with seed. The size, shape, and morphology of the sugar crystals have significant effect on the quality and acceptance of the dead syrup or crystallized set syrup. In the case of set syrup with seeds, sugar crystal sizes are fine, which could provide smooth melting on the tongue. Rheological properties are defined as the deformation 
and or flow of matter in response to an applied force. Therefore, rheological characteristics are measured from the deformation and flow of a material. Different types of force with cycles or oscillations are used in different types of instruments to explore the rheological properties of food. In this diagram, a compressive force with a constant speed is applied to a sample and the instrument records the force displacement graph. Defined rheological characteristics such as hardness, Young's modulus and stiffness could be determined by analyzing force displacement graph. Thermal properties are related to the heat transfer in foods. For example, thermal conductivity and a specific heat. We can understand the thermal conductivity from the conductive heat transfer through a slab as shown in the slide. At a steady state, we can write the heat transfer rate from the Fourier's law of heat conduction. The proportionality constant K can be defined as the thermal conductivity of the slab. Thermal conductivity of the material depends on the characteristics of solid, liquid, and gaseous phase of the material and their arrangement. Thermodynamic properties are related to the characteristics of phase or state changes in foods. For example, freezing point, glass transition, and gelatinization. For example, freezing is a phase change process where liquid water is transformed into ice. The properties related to this phase change are freezing point, latent heat of fusion, ice fraction, and maximal freeze concentration condition. Mass transfer properties are related to the transfer or microflow of different components in foods. For example, diffusivity and mass transfer coefficient. In this slide, we could see the natural diffusion process of a component in a matrix. Electromagnetic properties are related to the food's behavior with the interaction of electromagnetic energy. For example, dielectric constant, dielectric loss, and electrical resistance. In the next slide, I am going to explain the dielectric constant and dielectric loss as these are important parameters as in the case of microwave heating. Dielectric constant is the ratio of the permittivity of a substance to the permittivity of free space. Permittivity relates to a material's ability to resist an electric field that is ability of a material to hold their electric charge for a long period of time and or to hold large quantities of charge. Dielectric loss is the dissipation of energy through the movement of charges in an alternative electromagnetic field as polarization switches directions. Dielectric loss quantifies a dielectric material's inherent dissipation of electromagnetic energy into another form, for example, heat. The characteristics of food materials changes during processing and storage as well as during consumption and even after consumption. Kinetic properties are the kinetic constants which indicate the changes of any properties in foods over time, that is rate. These can be divided into two groups. The first comprises kinetic constants characterizing the rate of biological, biochemical, chemical, physical, and physical changes in food, that is, biochemical changes. It could include respiratory constants, rate constant, decimal reduction time, half life, erroneous equation constants temperature equation, D and Z values for reactions. The second comprises kinetic constants characterizing the growth, decline, 
and death of microorganisms in food. In this slide, decrease of microbial population by heating is shown as a function of time. These kinetics are commonly characterized by the D value as shown in the second figure. It should be noted that these properties are not actually the properties of food but properties of microorganisms as moderated by the food they are in. Health properties relate to the efficacy of foods in promoting human health and well-being. Not all foods consumed are safe, thus foods have positive or negative impacts on health. Positive effect can be divided into nutritional composition as defined in nutritional composition table, medicinal properties and functional properties. Functional properties are those that impact on an individual's general health, physical well-being and mental health and slow the aging process. Medicinal properties are those that have a nature to prevent and beneficial to diseases. It is not easy to make a clear cut distinction between functional and medicinal properties. For example, the antioxidant character of a food has effects both in controlling heart disease, a medicinal effect, and in slowing down the aging process, a functional effect. Garlic could be medicinal as well as functional. Some components of food such as pesticides, fungicides are toxic at any level or when some critical level is exceeded. It is not safe to consume unlimited quantities of some foods. Some components that is sugar, salt, fat, fat soluble vitamins and alcohol have negative effects if intake is excessive or if the diet as a whole is unbalanced. Thus negative health properties are grouped as toxic at any concentration, toxic above a critical concentration level and excessive or unbalanced intake. In the next video, I will explain the sensory properties of foods and their classification. Thank you.